Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. We've got used to a lot of things over this last year that would have seemed strange uh, just over a year ago, and yet they've become part of our daily life. Uh, this was really brought home to me when I was watching the television news the other night and there was a reporter. Now, now granted, it was uh, a special situation. He was reporting inside a vaccination center where people with serious medical conditions that make them very vulnerable, like cystic fibrosis or uh, ca various cancers, uh, people were receiving their vaccinations. And so the reporter was there giving his report onto the camera while wearing a medical face mask. And it just suddenly struck me how uh, just over a year ago, that would have seemed absolutely bizarre and unbelievable. Now, another part of our daily life has become the the, the sanitation. You know, uh, we go into shops and there's a sanitizer there. Uh, we, we go into churches when they're open and the sanitizer's there. Uh, many of us carry the little sanitizer things in our cars. And when we come out of a shopping and into the car, we, uh, we put a little bit of sanitizer on our hands. Now, of course, for some of us, we've actually been using little bottles of sanitizer for a lot longer than a year, particularly if we do a lot of traveling. Uh, I will never forget, it was the early or mid-1990s, and I was in a particular Eastern European country, and we'd been traveling by road across the country. Things were pretty primitive, uh, really hadn't recovered a lot from the Soviet regime. And I was with a, a friend and colleague of mine, Jorge Jaron, and uh, we went and we stopped at this restaurant and we ordered something and we sat at the table and we looked at the knives and the forks and the plates and they were filthy. I couldn't work out if they were just filthy because they'd been like that for a long time or whether they'd even washed them after the last people that had been in there. And Jorge looked at me and in absolute seriousness says, Nick, I think today we really need to pray for the food. And I agreed with him. I thought we got to pray real hard today. <laughs> well, thank God neither of us got food poisoning, so our prayers must have worked. But since then, like many other people, I've learned always to travel in my travel kit to have a little bit of sanitizer. Uh, you never know where you're going to find yourself, uh, where you need to have something to eat and you need to clean your hands and just uh, pop it open and... Uh, rub a little bit of that uh, that sanitizer into your hands just to, just to keep disease and germs away. Uh, I've, I know pastors who also carry them in churches because they're shaking hands with everybody after church. And uh, I've seen them coming out of the church and uh, one pastor once they were putting on the hand sanitizer outside the church and he saw me watching. He said, I'm washing the fellowship off my hands. But you know, all these precautions we take, and of course it is for a very good reason, particularly when there's a, a pandemic going on. We want to make sure that we can eradicate germs, uh, bacteria, viruses that can make us sick. Oh, that we were so careful when it comes to the spiritual things. You know, every day we come into contact with lots of people. Uh, some people who are great people, some people who are going to do us a lot of good by interacting with us. And quite honestly, some people, we need some of what they've got to rub off onto us. But then there's other people have a bad attitude, other people that are critical, other people that are gossips, uh, other people that are involved in various kinds of, of sin and deception. And inevitably, we have to have interactions with these people as well. I would say don't be satisfied with just rubbing on a little bit of physical hand sanitizer on your hands. But after some of the interactions you have with people that you know are maybe not going to be positive reaction, that if that has any interaction and any influence on your life, you know it's not going to be a positive one, then I would just encourage you to use a spiritual hand sanitizer to come before the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, would you please help me today? Lord, I've been doing about your business. I've been meeting these people, but Lord, I don't want any of that, uh, any of that division. I don't want any of that bitterness. I don't want any of that greediness to rub off on my life and into my attitudes and my thoughts. So, Lord, would you please cleanse my heart today by your Holy Spirit before I move on and do anything else in Jesus' name. 
I discovered that sometimes I need to pray that prayer and I would advise you to pray that prayer at times as well to keep your not just your hands but to keep your heart right before the Lord as well. May God bless you in everything you do this day and please join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.